Hello, my name is HD. if you can call me Fraser, and welcome to a story about my uncle. Now, veterans on my channel will know that I did actually start this game absolutely ages ago. But then, my hard drive died, so I lost my saves and stuff for quite a lot of games. I mean, I do still have some saves for games, and I do still have a save for a story about my uncle. But it's been so long that there's absolutely no point in continuing from where I left off. So I guess you could call this the A Story About My Uncle reboot. Starting again from scratch and trying to carry on as if we never played the game before. Of course, I will remember some things. But the majority of it I can't remember. I can't remember the story. I just know how to play the game. So there's... I would. I don't know why there's a continue button there. I don't. I don't know if my story saved in the cloud or anything. Let's click it. I want to see. It'd be weird if it was saved in the cloud. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it is saved in the cloud. This is where I left off. But unfortunately, I don't want to carry on. I really don't want to carry on from that point. So I'm going to restart the entire game. So yeah, you'll be able to carry you'll be able to learn about the game as we go along and we'll be able to continue the story together rather than jumping in, especially if you're not a veteran on the channel because it has been I don't know, maybe even a year. So yeah, let's overwrite the save. It's probably been about a year Dad. since I last played it. I don't know. Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something Something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I remember this now. I remember this, which is great. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. I remember this now, this is all coming back to me. But at the same time, there's so much I don't remember. Ah, yeah, he was an explorer. Karen with a story. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Which is pretty strange. You're supposed to send cards when you're on journeys. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. get blasted off into space. I love that introduction so much. As you can tell, this is a story-based game, so this is where I won't be editing as much, and I won't be talking as much, especially in those speaking parts. Just so you know, in case you haven't ever watched me play a story-based game. I 
I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. I was going to make a joke but protected me from falls on the ground but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. As I was saying, back there when I was at rubbish b bag, I was going to wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You can right click and jump. Oh, wow, I'm stuck. Oh, I didn't just do that. I've glitched the game. Wow, GG. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Yeah, at that rubbish bag, I was going to say what a load of rubbish, but yeah. Ah. Now I can say it. Oh, wait, it's no. I'm not going to go back and say it. Let's just carry on. Boom! And now we just need to go across here and jump up there. This is where we know how to do the power jump. Boom! And then we do it again. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols. But who? Where were they now? And that's how to power leap. Oh yeah, we'll find these little collectibles as we go along. Um, they usually make a little as if it was like Morse code, so that'll tell us if there's one closer or not. I would just need to get up on this platform whenever possible. Oh, I don't even need to jump like that. And we just need to get up on that one. Which I'm going to do that power jump to. I'm pretty sure there's one of those collectible things over there. Oh, let's get a checkpoint. There we go. So I'm going to go and get that right now. Oh, no. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. A normal person would get killed by that, but yeah, that suit is really cool. Oh wow, I didn't even know there was like landing marks. Ah, this is where we pick up a first crystal so we can start doing all of this funky stuff if you've ever seen the story about Mongo before. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my own. There we go. So this is kind of like parkour based at the same time as a story. Well, I say parkour, it's not parkour. The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Ah, damn, I messed up there. There we go, and we need to get onto that moving platform, which is a pain in the butt, I think. There we go! Which side do I need to go to? Oh, is that a collectible? Yeah, there we go. Listen. That noise is what we need to listen out for. Oh, let's move along. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to make it. Whatever, but we got a collectible. Just need to get back on that moving platform. Oh, wow, I was spawned very far back. There we go, I had to move quite a lot then. <laughs> that was a strange noise as well. I'm pretty sure you don't make that noise when you go flying through the air. I mean, planes don't make that noise unless they're, what, going a billion miles an hour? I forgot you could do that. Bam and bam. Woohoo! And here we go over there. So right now this doesn't seem like much. As you... The adventure suit was fantastic. 
by combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. As I was going to say, this doesn't seem like much for now, but later on more story will get involved. You'll see more characters, more everything, and more fails. <laughs> great. Great job, me. It's just I can't remember who the characters are, or what significant thing they have on the story. And we just need to get up here. And we also need to... Oh, hold on. I'm not sure if you heard that. But there we go. There's another collectible. That's why we always need to listen out. Because as it said at the start, collectibles do give you unlockables. So the more collectibles, the more unlockables we'll be able to get as the story goes along. And we need to grapple onto this one now. There we go. And onto this platform we go. Is it down there next? Yeah, I think we're going to need to do a sprint power jump. Right there. Bam, at a checkpoint. Oh, here's a moving one. Come on. Yes, we only just managed to grab on. Oh, will we make it? Will we make it? Will we make it? Yes. And there's a lot of water as well. And as you probably heard from the beginning, water does kill you. There's another checkpoint. Ah, oh, I could have grappled. I can still grapple. Oh, I could have still grappled onto it. Let's grapple onto it now. We need to get onto that platform over there. I thought I swung a little bit too far to the left then, but I didn't. Probably should have done a jump thing there. Oh, no, never mind. I can still get onto it. That's good. Now I'm going to need to do one of those super jumps. There we go. I think we're going to need to grapple onto that. Let's just do a power jump, and there we go. And that's just slingshot us onto, I think it's that platform over there. So let's let go. Oh, no, I'm not sure if we're going to make it. We, we're going to make it. There we go. Good, 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 good. And up here. When do we start meeting people? I don't know. I knew that was going to be a broken bridge. And there's a second power crystal. Do you know what that means? We can grapple twice. It says power core. I thought it was power crystal. Oh, whatever. They look like crystals. For some reason, this game reminds me of Windborn. I'm not sure if you've heard of Windborn. You probably haven't because it's discontinued. But it just reminds me of Windborn very slightly. Probably because there's like the hand out in the middle. Out in your field of view or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, that game, that early access game was discontinued and development stopped. So don't feel bad if you haven't heard of it. It's just not around anymore anyway. It, it was alright. It was an alright game. It was very Minecraft-like. But I I don't know. I, d I didn't play it much. I think I played it for a grand total of 35 minutes before I started getting bored. But it was like magic. It was it was okay. I give it a 5 out of 10. And that's a bit generous. But the developers did give me a free copy, so that was nice. I, I actually don't think I won it. Oh, whatever it was. I don't know. Anyway, we're getting out to 15 minutes now, so I think I might leave it here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe. And if you do want to see more, comment down below. This is a story-based game, as I said. So, I will go quiet when the story parts come on. And this won't have much editing unless it needs to have some editing. So, that's how a story-based game goes on my channel. I know I haven't done one for an absolute long time. But I really wanted to reboot. This has been a long time and I just wanted to bring back some old things that I used to play on my channel. And branch away from Minecraft because I don't want my channel. I've never wanted my channel to be a Minecraft dedicated channel. I've wanted it to be a variety channel. And I did great at that. And then, I don't know. I, I just started playing it a lot more and didn't carry on with other games. Ah, I think we'll leave it here. Did you here. ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes.
to learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home. One day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know what happened to them. And neither do I. So as I said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on my next video. Goodbye!